Autopsy Simulator was released in June 2024 by Woodland Games, a small Polish studio, and this is their first game. In the game, you are playing Jack Hanman, a coroner who is going through a psychotic episode one year after losing his wife. You follow him through several days of going to work, performing autopsies, going home, and throughout the course taking so many pills to try to stabilize his quickly crumbling mind. The main feature of the game are the autopsies. The team work with actual pathologists to create the cases you go through. So you will be seeing highly detailed internal organs, injuries and bodies in various state of definitely not alive. And they will be nude. There is a nudity filter in the menu and the game puts a handy dandy blur over the offending areas if you wish to avoid them. Though at least one case does focus a bit on the groin area of a male subject who is lacking the tools that are meant to be there. So just be aware of that. But it's clear they put in a lot of love and detail into the autopsies. And I really enjoyed the variety of subjects and the details I found as we went through the autopsies. Now as you go through the autopsy, sometimes creepy things will happen because Jack's mental health is deteriorating at an alarming rate. So expect the usual horror tropes of spooky people standing in doorways or body sitting up when you turn around or a body vanishing to appear later. Honestly, I found this kind of hallucination horror to not be very scary and honestly just quite predictable. For a bit it did look like the game was going into another direction with the horror, which I found way more scarier, but then it just went full into the your character is going crazy and things are being weird. Now the entire game is voice acted, the voice of Jack is not bad at all, but the choice to make him sound constantly tired and bored did get a little bit grating. He sighs more than I think I've ever heard anybody sigh throughout the game. And it feels like he never stops talking. The entire process of the autopsy or just whatever he's doing is narrated by him. Some of it makes sense as he is recording the autopsies for a university class. Others is just him slowly losing his mind. And while I found that interesting, I wish he would maybe talk a little bit less during the autopsies. Though maybe the talking there would have bothered me less if he wasn't giving me the answers to absolutely everything. You see, Autopsy Simulator is not a game where you solve how somebody died. Jack will handle that. He will tell you the answer. In fact, there are pretty much no independent thought required to take part in the autopsies. You will be doing exactly as Jack tells you to do, in the order he tells you every step of the way. Now I did remind it in the prologue chapter, which I believe to be working as a tutorial and I thought that was excellent. But that tutorial feeling, it never left. And this got especially frustrating when I realized that failure just wasn't an option. If Jack tells you to pick up the heart, you can only pick up the heart. The game won't let you interact with any of the other organs even though it pretends it will. And in fact, it will outline the heart in a nice white outline, so you definitely cannot miss the heart. You also can't get the cause of death wrong, you simply aren't allowed to click the wrong answers. So the game gives you the illusion of you performing an autopsy, and early on and from the trailer it had me believing I would eventually be figuring out the cause of death myself. But the entire experience is about as involved as doing a paint by numbers. You simply do as you're told, and the autopsy will resolve itself in the end. And I feel that is in no way a fitting gameplay for a game claiming to be a simulator. Now the story itself was alright, the conclusion made me realise I'd gotten some hints about things going wrong earlier, but overall I was left disappointed. I felt like the game was going to go in another direction earlier on, and that felt far more scary and interesting as a story than the story that actually ended up being there. Now the full game took me just over 5 hours to complete. I did come across few bugs along the way, mostly audio overlapping and 
lighting acting weird along with some stuttering frames from time to time but overall the game worked all right but in the end i felt autopsy simulator is a game with great research and visuals i mean they got nicely jiggly organs and the autopsy itself is very interesting and the different bodies provide nice range but it's completely let down by how much hand-holding the game does. It's a perfectly fine game to play if you want to go through autopsies just to see them. I mean, I did find them interesting enough to continue throughout the game, but in the end I was disappointed, as I felt the game did simply not deliver on what it promised. Now the developers are talking about adding in an autopsy-only mode, especially if they allow us to actually do things on our own there, but as it is, the game falls flat. But that's just my opinion. What are your thoughts on Autopsy Simulator? Let's talk about it down in the comments and keep the spoilers to a minimum, of course, in case people want to play it. While you're down there, please do the good YouTube stuff. It really helps the channel. So like, subscribe, and check out one of the other videos on screen. And of course, in the end, all I want to say is thank for a horva, for the Indus Landach.